How to become a polyglot? Being a polyglot means learning at least four languages and being able to use them in conversation. The easiest way to pick up multiple languages is to master similar languages one at a time. Practice often to improve your skills and speak with other people who know the language. Reaching polyglot status may seem very difficult, but once you master your first new language, learning subsequent languages becomes much easier. Becoming fluent in a language. Read the language's rules on grammar. Many times sentence structure is the most confusing part of learning a language. Each language has its own rules and understanding these rules is a key part of forming sentences. Read a bunch of sentences and translations, trying to determine how subjects, actions, and descriptive words are combined. You can find information on sentence structure by reading study books or by searching for free language lessons online. For example, English follows a subject-verb-object pattern, such as in, he ran to the store. Japanese uses a subject-object-verb pattern, so, ran, would appear at the end of a sentence. You can find information on sentence structure by reading study books or by searching for free language lessons online, for example, English follows a subject-verb-object pattern, such as in, he ran to the store. Japanese uses a subject-object-verb pattern, so, ran, would appear at the end of a sentence. Master basic phrases that are useful in everyday life. Come up with a list of the most essential words you need to know. There is no use learning the word for aardvark in Swahili if you are never likely to use it. Think of words you use all the time and get familiar with them first. For example, if you're an exchange student in Russia, you might need to introduce yourself, ask for directions, and order food. While you might need to know the Swahili word for aardvark, someday, you can learn it at a later date when the time comes. For example, if you're an exchange student in Russia, you might need to introduce yourself, ask for directions, and order food. While you might need to know the Swahili word for aardvark, someday, you can learn it at a later date when the time comes. Translate words in your head. The biggest step you can take in mastering a new language is learning to think in it. You don't have to start with fluent conversation. As you're out and about, make a point of translating what you see into the language you want to learn. You may soon find out your language skills have improved without shuffling through flashcards for hours at a time. Speaking the words out loud can help solidify them in your memory. Eventually, you will be able to translate the words automatically without saying them. Speaking the words out loud can help solidify them in your memory. Eventually, you will be able to translate the words automatically without saying them. Use your vocabulary to write in your new language. Writing involves more than putting words on flashcards. Try generating a few descriptive paragraphs or sentences doing what you know. Writing helps you put words into action, figuring out how they are used in conversation. As you learn new words and phrases, you can combine them in new ways to improve your skills. Start out small. When you're starting out, you might stick to simple descriptions like, Hi, my name is John Doe. I am 18. I am from America. Writing involves fluency you can't get from reciting flashcards, so use it as an opportunity to expand your vocabulary and make your language skills more dynamic. Speak as much in your new language as possible. Try to speak only in your new language when you can. Think of what you want to say, translate it, then say it aloud. Doing this helps you memorize the language and become more fluent in it. If you can't think of a way to say what you want, use that as an opportunity to look up new words. Remember that being a polyglot means using languages in conversation. If you only memorize lists of words, you may find yourself unable to form sentences in a conversation. Remember that being a polyglot means using languages in conversation. If you only memorize lists of words, you may find yourself unable to form sentences in a conversation.